It's clear that being a K-pop idol comes with a lot of pressure, and it's even more difficult for those who are underage. This concern is not unfounded, as it seems that more and more idols are debuting at younger ages, with some even starting their careers as young as 14 or 15. It's important to consider the potential impact that such early debuts can have on the physical and mental health of these young idols. In recent years, several shocking news stories involving underage idols have surfaced in the K-pop industry, ranging from aggression on TV shows to controversial outfits. Despite breaking records since their debut, Le Seraphim, one of HYBE's most recent groups, has also faced controversies. The group's stylists received negative reactions from internet users, who expressed their concerns about underage idols performing inappropriate choreographies and wearing controversial stage outfits, even since their debut with Fearless. Although the outfits might seem normal offstage, Korean netizens believe that the short skirts and low-cut tops are inappropriate for the intense choreography. Given that two members of the group, Garam and Yin Chi, were underage at the time, a large number of people considered the outfits unsuitable and excessively revealing for the dance choreography. Many netizens voiced their worries online, expressing concern about the possible negative consequences that the members could face due to the provocative nature of their attire and choreography. Recently, Yunki's outfits became a topic of discussion on an online forum once again, with two specific examples being shared. One example was a short black dress she wore during a performance, and performance outfits tend to be more heavily scrutinized due to their potential for revealing more skin with certain dance moves. The second outfit wasn't worn during a performance, but the skirt that Yunchi wore was incredibly short and tight, which many people feel is inappropriate for someone her age. Yunchi was only 17 years old at the time and just 15 when the group debuted, which has added to the controversy surrounding her styling. Many fans feel that the company should be more mindful of the way they style their younger idols, and that Unche's outfits in particular have been too revealing for someone so young. The post sparked a lot of discussion in the comments, with many people agreeing that the outfits, especially the second one, should not be worn by an underage idol like Yunchi. Some even expressed their discomfort with Yunki's inclusion in Lee Seraphim, as all of the other members are older, and the group tends to have a more mature vibe overall. The latest choreography from Lee Seraphim for a B-side track also left netizens divided over whether it is appropriate for the underage member Yunki. Recently, Ellie Seraphim released their new album with the title track, Easy. Along with the performance of the title track during the showcase, Ellie Seraphim impressed netizens with their B-sides, including one called Smart. The vibes were different from the other songs, and the choreography was something the fans hadn't seen from the members before. However, some of the movements sparked a heated debate online after they were deemed inappropriate for Yunki. When the video of the song's performance was posted, netizens were surprised by the choreography. While it was beautiful and powerful, many thought it was inappropriate for Yunkai, given her young age. Some noticed that Yunki didn't perform the movements with the same intensity as the other members, but thought that this confirmed that the choreography was not appropriate for the young idol. However, others responded to the tweets, claiming that they were sexualizing the choreography unnecessarily, and that there was nothing wrong with a 17-year-old girl doing this type of movement. Despite her talent, it seems that some people are concerned about the pressure on Yunki to mature quickly to fit in with Ellie Seraphim's concept. The K-pop girl group Busters has once again found itself in the midst of controversy. Originally debuting in 2017 under Marbling Entertainment and JTG Entertainment, the group disbanded in 2020 after most of the original members left the company. They re-debuted in April 2022 with members Jiun, Nami, Sira, Takara, and Minji. However, the group's management has faced repeated criticism for failing to protect the members, both in the old lineup and the new. One major concern is the alleged oversexualization of some of the members. With a recent Christmas concert and fan sign raising alarms about the company's intentions, fans have expressed discomfort with the members posing barefoot in the event's poster and Takara's dress being deemed inappropriate. Marbling had previously been criticized for their treatment of all members of Busters, most of whom were minors at the time of the release. In 2020, the agency was criticized for encouraging a 16-year-old former member Jisoo to be a model for a plastic surgery clinic. In 2019, netizens criticized the agency for sexualizing underage members during a live broadcast. That same year, the company was also criticized for failing to protect 15-year-old former member Chayayeon, who was called a pro- 
attitude and other derogatory slurs by a much older colleague. Some concerned fans have also found questionable photo shoots of Jian from when she was only 16, and Takara and Minji have also been victims of over-sexualized styling, making them vulnerable to sexual harassment online. Recently, Takara and Minji also debuted in a subunit called Buster's Hip Hop Sisters with the single Slime. The overtly suggestive lyrics of the song have left netizens in disgust. In 2021, Jang Wan Young's stylist came under fire for the female idol's outfit in a viral video where she did a split. Some netizens felt uncomfortable watching a teenage idol doing a leg split in extremely small shorts in front of veteran male hosts and her seniors in the entertainment industry. Despite how amazing her body is, Jang Wan Young was still a minor at the time. Her stylist should have been more careful to avoid unnecessary controversies. Netizens also pointed out that Wan Young often has to perform strong dance moves, but she is not dressed appropriately for the choreography. Some of her outfits might accidentally reveal her body if she is not careful while performing. It is not just in recent times that people have expressed discomfort with the clothing given to underage idols. In 2009, during the debut of Four Minute, Netizens in Korea already criticized the outfits worn by Hayuna, who was only 17 years old at the time. Many fans commented on how uncomfortable she seemed wearing certain clothes while performing. In 2022, the group Girl Crush was the target of criticism after it was revealed that the group was performing explicit and inappropriate performances with an underage member. In particular, netizens were furious when the company previously denied that this would happen. Despite their name, Girl Crush has a very mature concept. The group was founded in 2019 and is a dance performance group with a sexy concept. They have been active since 2019 and currently consist of three members, Tyri, Zia, and Bomi. Yet, in May, Girl Crush came under fire after a Twitter account shared that the newest member of the group was allegedly going to be Hayoon, a former member of Baba and Blaze who was born in 2005. After the allegations surfaced, HW Entertainment released a statement about the issue. The agency denied that Hayoon was an official member of the group, stating that she was only a trainee. However, the statement emphasized that Hayoon was training with the group and that they would wait until she was of legal age before she joined the group. The statement was far from what netizens wanted to hear, and they continued to express their anger over the fact that Hyun was still practicing and performing this concept, and it was just a matter of the company waiting for her to reach legal age. Others pointed out that reaching legal age does not necessarily equate to maturity. Despite the agency's promise that Hyun would not perform until she reached legal age, it appears that they have gone back on their word. The Twitter account that previously shared the information recently posted that Hyun was performing with the group. Furthermore, despite being underage and not an official member, Hyun was seen wearing provocative outfits similar to those worn by the older members. The user also explained that Hyun was involved in inappropriate choreography, performing the same sexy dance moves as the older members. 